You know I've got no problem with Orlesians, but Halam Sharal was a mess. At least under the Kune, you don't get everyone tripping on each other's dicks while the country goes to crap. What if we had brought him to the that party? That would have been pretty fun. Oh man. We missed an opportunity there, I feel like. We chose the people who we thought would be good there, but it would have been kind of fun to bring the people who were like... Ugh, what the fuck is this? Like, this fucking sucks. Where's the booze? Yeah, oh, we, we should have brought, brought him, Sarah, Sarah, and like Solas just yeah. to completely poop on the party. Varric. I would have brought Varric, Iron Bull, and Sarah. That would have been a party. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. Yeah. I hate politics. You've got a crappy job then, boss. Hey, boss. How are you? See you later, Bull. Nice talking with you, boss. Inquisitor. Yeah. Oh, what's this? One for the Empress. For Gaspar. Brianna. The Duchess. And Carissus. Right in the dangle bag. Hi. Remind me not to get you mad. Well, remind me to stay on your good side. Don't worry, you're sparkling compared to that lot. A cook here, a footman there. What's it matter, right, so long as there's a book for the throne? A pretty one, sure. But how many lives are worth one empress's arse? Ugh, that place. Should have just thrown in some bees and slammed the doors. I agree, that would have helped. Or this and that would accomplish damn what it. exactly? Oh, damn oh, around fuck. the face and neck? Can't assassinate empresses if your eyes swell shut. I don't know. But I'm just trying to get this junk out of my head. These people, they're the worst. Ugh, you know the most important thing I got out of all of that mess? The one thing. Don't sleep with empresses. That's what that was all about. That and Brianna <laughs> being an idiot. The whole thing would have gone different if that little piss-up wasn't in the middle. Uh, their mistakes made it worse. That was a mistake on their part. It made everything worse. Wrong way around, Inquisitor. It started worse. Lots of people died before there was a hole in the sky. That's who you're saving. If you get a chance, maybe remind them not to be idiots. Hey, Cole, I'm just gonna take your stuff. Oh, he's back. Oh, hey. I didn't understand the Grand Ball. It would have been easier if they said what they wanted. Oh, we should have brought calls. Oh my god, he wouldn't about. have known what the fuck was going on. What did you think of the masks? What masks? The masks. Everyone had them on their faces. Those weren't their faces. <laughs> I'll talk to you later. Yes. Inquisitor? How shall I refer to you? Rainier or Blackwall? I've gotten used to Blackwall. Perhaps we could treat it as less of a name and more of a title. Almost like Inquisitor. Reminds me of what I ought to be. A noble sentiment. Everyone needs something to aspire to. Exactly. I'm glad you understand. Is there anything you actually know about the Wardens? Or did you make it all up? I made very little up. I also feared you knew enough to contradict me. Warden Blackwall told me a bit before my initiation. But it is a secretive order. Not even the most senior Wardens know all there is to know. Now we know why you were never worried about Corythius's calling. Yes. I have none of the Wardens' abilities and none of the drawbacks. Still, I would have fought through the darkest pits of the deep roads like any true warden. There's more to it than being able to sense darkspawn. Warden Blackwall would have agreed. The wardens at Adamant listened to you. They saw you as one of their own. Perhaps it takes an outsider to show how much of yourself you've lost. I never understood the reality of being a warden. I only saw the ideal. I suppose I reminded them of something they'd forgotten. Mm. I don't know. 
You have a lot of respect for the Wardens. They take all men, from the most noble to the most despicable, and make them equals. I needed to believe something like that was possible. Why did Blackwall want to recruit you? He never told me. I don't know what he saw that day besides some wreck starting a bar fight. That night, I taught some village militia a painful lesson about harassing the tavern girl. Didn't know I had an audience. Uh, and he saw how you fight? It's obvious he recruited you for your skill in battle. Was probably just curious how some filthy vagrant could cut down so many militiamen. I didn't ask. And I suppose we'll never know. We'll continue this another time. Oh, Cullen is ready to report in. Yay! Stop following me. I haven't taken a step. Yet here you are. I just... I don't know what to do. Pain hides behind certainty. Not knowing, searching, is a first step. She sure is a happy one, huh? <laughs> I know. It just makes me laugh because right? she's so like, blue, 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 blue. like the way her arms go up like that. It's yeah, just... that's how you jump higher. That's yeah. how it works. What have hey. you found? We have him, Inquisitor. We found Samson's lair. My Finally. My usually keep me here, but for Samson. I'll make an exception. <gasps> yeah, we get to go on a quest need, with Kelly. I need you to be careful, honey. Okay? I love you. Take care of yourself, you delicate little Something man. Something still has that red lyrium armor. <laughs> All the more reason for me to go. I would sleep better if I knew I would be at your side. We'll depart okay. at your leave. Yeah. Okay. Yay. Yes. That's all for now. Should you require anything, I'll be here. You know the reason why his um his fur thing is like that? Why? Because it's actually supposed to be a lion's mane. His helmet is a, a lion's head, or is oh. it or is it a dog's head? I'm pretty sure it's a lion's head. I saw the con I saw a picture of him with his helmet on. I was like, dang, damn, looking good, damn son. Bring your bro, Blackwall. Who else? Oh, Barrick will have something to say about Lyrium, and then Solus will be sassy. Oh, Solus, yes. I think he's a wise choice. He'll be like, I know about He'll be this. be like, what in the actual fuck is it spiritually going on here? <laughs> <laughs> you know how he says stuff like that? He gets, like, really intense, and then he's, like, totally zenned out, man. <laughs> he's all over the place. Yeah. But that's why that's what I kind of like about him, is that he's never, like... Angry, angry, angry. He's like angry Zen. Whatever, <laughs> Let's it yo. Go. Yeah. It's like spirits in the fade. I feel like he would totally be like a hippie burnout in the high school of Dragon Age Inquisition. Dragon Age High School? Yeah. This is it. The heart of Samson's command. I don't see him anywhere or hear him. Nor I. Make her tell me he hasn't fled. <laughs> Blackwell would be like that the the bad guy, like the rebel without a cause. With a dark past. Yep, with a dark past. Cullen would be I feel like Cullen would be like the no, captain no, no. of the football team. No no no, because no. Cullen's a dork, kind of. Okay. But he so. would no no no, he's the captain of a football team, but he's secretly a dork. But he's also but he's also like a band geek, maybe? No no no, like uh He's like really smart and good at math. Like he wanted to be on the math team, but his dad make him be made Made him, him be on the football team? Yeah. Okay. He wanted to be a mathlete. A mathlete. <laughs> yeah. We had mathletes at our school. Yeah, we did too. They were cool. <laughs> so Colin wanted to be a mathlete. He's like really good at school, but his dad made him be on the football team because he's like, that's what boys do. Or something like that. And he also really likes Dungeons and Dragons. But he's, like, really secretive about it. All right. Are you, like, making up your imaginary boyfriend in high school? Yes. Because I feel like you're bringing a little personal history into this. Yes. Actually, I am. And 
it's awesome, and I'm very, pretty sure everyone around me is being like, I'm writing that friend fiction as we speak. <laughs> okay, I feel like Sarah... She would well, be that quirky goth girl. Yeah, well, I mean, like, we've already talked at length about what kind of person Sarah is. Um, not in a bad way, just about, like, what type of person she is. And... Josie would be the most popular girl in school. Yeah, but, she'd like, be, like, the cheerleader captain. Captain. But, like, she's really nice, so she's not, like, but a But she's really nice, so she's not a bitch, but she's, she's... like, nice to everybody. Holy crap. And we're the new kid. <laughs> yep, we're the new kid at school. Uh, who else? Cassandra would be... Cassandra would be the captain of the basketball team. Or the softball team. No, I think basketball. Yeah, you're right. I can totally imagine her in, like, basketball shorts. Um, hey, guys, what's up? <laughs> like... She'd be like, what? What's up? Captain of the basketball team. Varric would be, like, that guy who's, like, really popular, like, with everybody. Yes. Just, and he kind of is, like, friends with everybody. Destroyed. Samson must have ordered his Templars to sack his head. <laughs> Sorry, Curly. Someone tipped off Samson for coming. He's like, yeah, I just can't wait to get out of this place. This place sucks, but you know he loves it. Ooh, Iron Bull, he's like a linebacker. And he like gets all the ladies and mm -hmm. guys and just whatever. It's just whatever. He's like everybody's best friend. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Okay. Uh Vivienne. Vivienne would be like who would she be? She'd be really mean. I know. <laughs> but like would who be. would she be? Yeah. <gasps> She'd be like the center okay, so Vivian, Cassandra, Liliana, and um Josie would be in the same clique, but Vivian would be the bitchy one. Yes. And she'd be like prom queen and whatever. All I the feel time. like Liliana would be like the gossipy one. No, she'd be like she'd like run up to the lunch table, like, guys, did you hear? Like Exactly. <laughs> she'd be the gossipy one. Not gossipy in a mean way, but she'd be like, guys, you'll never believe what I just heard. And we're all like, Liliana always has the best scoop. <laughs> What's the scoop, Lily? What's the scoop? Yeah. Okay. Who are we missing? Are we missing anybody? Like, nobody in this in this group is mean. They're just, except for v Vivienne, but everyone just accepts that. <laughs> I feel like she's more like, she, maybe she would just be more like aloof and kind of above everything. Yeah, mean, and she would, she would wear I mean? like Fendi and Prada a lot. To high school. To high school. Because why not? She would be wearing a lot of designer clothes. Oh, I'm dead. But she would wear designer clothes a lot of the time. Mm -hmm. Uh oh. Oh. Things are not going well. I should have been paying attention. <laughs> We're too busy talking about Dragon Age High School. Here we go. Oh, Cole! Cole would be. Oh my god, he'd be like that guy at the library who reads books yeah. all the time and just stares at everybody. And everybody Everyone's like, like, and everybody like thinks he's kind of, thinks he's kind of weird, but like, like harmless and, and weird and kind of cute and like, he just shows up at the parties and no one's, everyone's like totally fine with it. Yeah. And he'll, oh no, and then like he'll see like different people fighting and they'll kind of like come up behind them and like make fake notes, like secret. You know how people pass notes? Yeah. He'll make fake notes to make people not fight anymore. Oh, you mean like pass notes like as if it was coming from that person, but like yeah, and it'd be like really, it'll be like. Oh, I'm sorry I said that. And then, like, it'll be from the other person. I'm sorry I said that, too. Let's just pretend it didn't happen kind of yes! thing. Yes! Ah, would, yes! Yeah, and he would, like, always be, like, watching, being kind of creepy about it, but, like, not in a malicious way. Yeah. Yeah, that, yeah. that would be totally be cool. <laughs> Dragon Age High School. <laughs> I'm telling you, this should be a thing. Someone make this fanfic Somebody immediately. Somebody do it. That'd be such a cute book series. Can you imagine, like, a young adult book series I'm that I it. would totally read? <laughs> Hello, Inquisitor. You know me? It's Maddox. Samson's tranquil. Something's wrong. I'll send for the healers. That would be a waste, Knight Captain Cullen. I drank my entire supply of Blightcap essence. It won't be long now. Oh. We wouldn't have hurt you. We only wanted to ask you questions, Maddox. Yes. That is what I could not allow. 
I destroyed the camp with fire. We all agreed it was best. Our deaths ensured Samson had time to escape. You threw your lives away? For Samson? Why? Samson saved me even before he needed me. He gave me purpose again. I... wanted to help. We should check the camp. Maddox may have missed something. Are you okay? Yeah, right? A dismal place to die. It can't have been much of a place to live either under Samson's command. What else do you remember about Samson, the man he used to be? Does it matter? He used to be kind, only carries so far. Yet Maddox died to help him escape. Samson does command loyalty. Is there anything in the camp that could help, or point us to Samson? Mm, it's hard to tell. All I see is smoke and ash. If this is Samson's idea of remaking the world, I prefer yours. I'll keep oh, looking shit. around. Damn it. Yes, Inquisitor? We can't leave Maddox here. He should be properly laid to rest. I'll have someone take care of it. If even Samson did his best for Maddox, we can do no less. I'll keep looking around. Bye, Boo. Wait, if I turn helmets on, will he be wearing his helmet? see his lion helmet. Lyrian bottles licked clean. Drinking it, licked? wearing it, growing it. You can't say Samson isn't committed. How much red lyrium is Samson taking? His resistance must be extraordinary. Samson left a message for me. What does it oh. say? Uh -oh. Drink enough lyrium and its song reveals the truth. The chantry used those as you're fighting the wrong battle. Corypheus okay. chose me as his general and his vessel of power, and other such nonsense. Does he think I'll understand? <laughs> what does he know? <laughs> and the You'll understand. You are addicted to it too. No, but that's how he's like, and the lyrium sings the truth. It's like, okay. No, it you doesn't. do realize that it makes you go crazy, right? 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 No? That's okay. Like, it literally sings to you because you're crazy. It's like that one time I was talking to a, someone and they were like, well, what if everyone else is crazy and we're the only sane ones? And I was like, no, we're the crazy ones. That's usually not how it goes. That's not it. It's usually not that the entire world is crazy except for you. I mean, sometimes it is mm -hmm. for certain things, but not... Not this thing. Not this thing. Not, not this time. Yes, Inquisitor? I'll keep looking around. Guys, I don't know if you realize this, but there's fire. Everywhere. Yeah, so... This must have been Maddox's room. But the fire couldn't destroy these entirely, whatever they are. They are implements for working Lyrium safely. Craftsmanship is remarkable. Tranquil often design their own tools. Dagna should be able to make sense of them. If Maddox used these to make Samson's armor, she could use them to unmake it. Yeah, let's I go. feel like I feel like Dagna would be like that girl who's really good at chemistry. She's really good at science. <gasps> we had one of like yeah. She'd be like super into it. Like super into it, like kinda nerdy, like that like the you know how they always have that person on like crime shows who's like the it's forensics the person and she's like, Oh my god, guys, I just found this thing blah, 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 blah. and everyone's like, Okay, but get to the point. But everybody would be like, No, we're so interested to hear it because it's Dagna and yeah. she's like Really nice. She made awesome, like, stink bombs. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Okay. <laughs> Who, what other characters are there? There's the Scout. What's her name? Scout Harding. Yeah. Um, She could be... I hate to say captain of the field hockey team, but... but she definitely looks like a field hockey team doesn't captain. Doesn't it? Definitely. Uh, Mother Giselle could be the school guidance counselor. But she sucks at her job. Yeah. 
Okay, so wait, 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 wait. Josie, she would be, like, really popular, but she would also be, like, the club president of, like, 50 different clubs. Yeah! <laughs> yeah, because she's such a diplomat. Yes. Oh, Morgan. Well. She would just be kind of, like, whatever. Morgan okay. would be, like, that goth girl who just, like, doesn't give a shit about anybody, but is, like, content... And, like, like, a lot of guys have secret crushes on her. Yeah, because they're like, whoa, she's, like, so secure with herself. And she's like, whatever, fuck off. I'm not into this. Go away. Yeah. And she's, like, secretly taking taking college courses already. Mm -hmm. But she, like, doesn't tell anybody about it because it's, like, not a big deal to her. She just doesn't want to talk to anybody, really. Yeah. The red lyrium deposits are being destroyed, and we've cut the red templars down to the core. It's a pity Maddox thought his sacrifice was the only answer. But that leaves Samson with a severely curtailed army and enchanted army he can't maintain. You did it. We did, we did it. it, Cullen. Together. We both fought to make this happen. Don't sell yourself short. Well, I... Thank you. But my work's not done yet. We're getting recruits by the hour. There's more than a few ex-Templars among them. We've struck a blow and given people hope. This is a true victory. Inquisitor, I finished it. Are you talking? Sorry. Have it anyhow. <laughs> you mean this rune? It's not just any rune. I made it with red lyrium and what's left of poor Maddox's tools. The rune acts on the median fissures of lyrium to... It'll destroy Samson's armor. He'll be powerless. That's exactly what we were just describing. Exactly! <laughs> That's exactly what we just described, how she's like, blah, 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 blah. Oh. Anyways, I'm getting ahead of myself. I'm being such a huge dork right now, already imagining being, like, the Inquisitor of, like, oh, I just came to school, and then, like... And, like, all these cool people are friends with me. And ah! then, like, Cullen, like, being, like, a secret dork, and I'm like, so I, like, totally into Dungeons and Dragons, and he's being like, oh my god, me too, and I'm like... <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell anyone. It'll be our secret. Okay. <laughs> Going to Renaissance Fair together. <laughs> so dorky. I'm like ashamed of what's happening in my head. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Stacy's ashamed too. <laughs> yep. I don't care. And he'd be a mathlete, and he'd love Dungeons and Dragons, and he'd be the captain of the football team, but only because his dad said so. Like, but he's still there, and all the girls always want him, but they don't understand. And all like, the guys I'd... want him, too, because I want him, but he's only mine. Like, okay, <laughs> I'm Marie. the only one who understands him. <laughs> I'm not ashamed. <laughs> I'm not ashamed. I know other people think these things, too. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Tina from Bob's Burgers in real life. <laughs> I'm gonna think about this for a long time. <laughs> it's funny because my high school didn't even have a football team. We just had, like, ours didn't either. We just had debate team, and everyone was like, no, who won the debate? It was sick burn when he brought up the Model UN thing. And I'm like, all right, guys, this isn't hot at all. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and we'll cut Corypheus off from his most powerful officer. Maddox covered Samson's tracks thoroughly. But wherever Samson's retreated, we'll find him. Your army stands ready, Inquisitor. For Samson, for Corypheus, for whatever you command. Okay, but let's just be clear. In in my version, I'm just going to add one character and that is Fenris and he's going to be like that total badass that has like a motorcycle. A motorcycle. And he smokes. And he's like, ah, "I'm 17 and already smoking. What's up?" And you're like, "Ew, that's bad for you, but I don't know, it's hot in a weird way." Like I sh I don't want to like, be I attracted. Like I feel conflicted about this, but you're really attracted. He's got a leather jacket. Yes. And he's like, this totally I'm imagining like, his hair right now being like all like stop it, everywhere. Stop it! And he wears sunglasses <laughs> into class because he just smoked weed. <laughs> <laughs> he's really high, and you're like, 
Fenris, you're so smart. Why don't you apply yourself? And he's like, I have a dark past. And you're like, you can talk to me about it. Okay, but I'm leaving. <laughs> and you ride off on his motorcycle together, like off into the sunset. And then he's like, I'm really complicated. And you're like, but I understand you. And you're you. like, I understand your complicatedness, baby. And he's like, no, you'll never tame me. And you're like, I already did. And he's like, ugh. <laughs> He definitely has a leather jacket, a black leather totally, jacket. Totally, with, like, studs on it with, and stuff. With sun, he's wear got sun, boots. <laughs> he's got boots, skinny, skinny jeans. jeans. <laughs> skinny jeans! <laughs> <laughs> he's got, like, that James Dean, like, swoop. See, now we're describing my ideal high school boyfriend. And I, notice how I'm not saying it's ridiculous. I uh, Walk. <laughs> Come on, Mari. Football team and mathlete. I'm like, yes, Stacy. Come on. They're bo- I want both. And, and we're in my dragons. head. And dunge- we're in my head, okay? This is what I want. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be just like in Breakfast Club, where the captain of the football team gets with that really weird dorky girl after the after the popular girl puts makeup on her. It's exactly like that. Mm-hmm. And I would totally, and I was in love with Bender because he's like, yeah, I'm wearing like flannel and a leather jacket and fingerless gloves. And I was like, oh my God, be mine. And he's always like looking at the- Fingerless gloves. Oh my, be still my beating heart. And the popular girl's like- You're gross. You're disgusting. And then Let's she, have sex. And then he gives her his earring. And she's like, thanks. <laughs> Puts it on. <laughs> oh yeah, this is it. This is it. <laughs> oh, this is a very meandering episode. Breakfast, breakfast club jacket. <laughs> We're all in detention yes. for different reasons, and we come together to fight. <laughs> to, and Corypheus is the principal. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I well, can't. Uh, someone write this. Yeah. It's going to be me, and I'm going to be like, Stacey, check out this fan picture, and I found it so stupid. It's so like, weird, but it's really good, right? right? It's, it's not really like awesome. I wrote it, though. I, I would write never it. write anything like this, though. Definitely wasn't me. 